What's up guys, it's Chris. Today we have a slugging singularity build, which I think is worth showing off because of how much pressure it generates. Taking advantage of knockouts so survivors can't see the ores of their downed teammates and the singularity's new perk, forced hesitation, to slow survivors by 20% if they're near teammates we down. This build can get wild. We also brought the monitor and infectious combo for some great info. I think the reason this build feels so good is that survivors have to worry about finding their teammates, healing them, doing gens, finding EMPs and using them. And at a certain point, finding the balance between these things is just impossible. But enough talking about it. Let's get right into the game. All right, here we go with some slugging singularity. We love it. Yeah, right at the start here, we're going to be using that add-on that gives us 10 pods. And just chuck a bunch of pods everywhere, pretty much everywhere we can. Uh, this is free info. You know, we'll find some stuff eventually. And then we want to get rolling with slugging it up. Slugging, slugging, slugging time. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be at least one person around here. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Alright, let's get a hit. Okay, we can catch up pretty quick here. Yeah, and then as soon as we down him, we're just going to leave him down. We're not going to uh, cook him at all. I'm just going to hopefully use that monitor infectious to... Oh, wow, resilience. Nice. There we go. Looks like we'll be getting shack pallets. Very nice. Gladly we'll eat that. That is not how you want to play that. So we got no infectious around here, which is telling me they're going to be right about there. Uh, can we get out of this bag too? I think so. Yeah, we got a lot of good pods set up around this area, which is going to be really, really nice, I think. Break that up right away. Just shredding all the stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's one nice thing. Once you're in overclock, you can just shred pallets and walls and stuff like that. We just walk through it. There we go. Get a little hit and the pallet. Still trying to play this. Just teleport through it. Oh, wow. I really didn't expect her to pick that out. We can break this in half a second if she can't really get anywhere. Another slug. I do think this strategy is a little bit mean, but I do also think it is very good. He already got an EMP right after he was uh, slugged there. There we go. Get another thing on him. Should be able to teleport here too. Look at that. Very nice pod set up here. Really making it easy on me. But yeah, the nice thing too is we can start setting up pods on the people we down. Uh, and then as long as they're globbed up like all four of them are here, we'll be able to just teleport right onto them and stuff. Looks like they used a EMP over here, and that's three of them in this area. Yeah, look at that. So if they try to take a hit here or anything, I mean, they're all going to be 20% slowed. Oh, what was that? Made for this. Totally. Could have waited an extra couple seconds there. Totally forgot that was a thing in the game, honestly. I mean, I should be used to everybody running it by now, because they all are, but... Oh, my bad. Let him vault that again. Playing this very strangely. He's also going really wide there. So it's going to be a hit for sure. Yeah, I was really looking forward to getting our Force Hesitation. <laughs> kind of rushed that hit. Totally my fault. Forgot made for this. Does give them a uh, little freebie there. Man, Meg's really wasting pals here, isn't she? Oh, she's trying to EMP too. There we go. Get that little down. Yeah, the thing is, though, it's just creating so much pressure from them having to pick up their teammates and heal and all the good stuff that hopefully they don't have enough time to really be snagging these EMPs and stuff. That's the plan, anyway. I don't think it's too bad, either. Yeah, this guy's pretty much right underneath a, uh, a camera there. Let me just check that. I do see, uh, what's his name? Gabriel. Can't quite get him with the pod there. But hopefully we can down this Meg and get that huge 20% slowdown on him. Looks like they're not going to be trying to take a hit whatsoever. Not quite close enough, I don't think. Put that back right away. Very nice. Yeah, I think it's just taking up so much time, though, for them to, uh, you know, deal with their teammates and run around trying to heal and do gens and the EMPs. Then it makes it really, really hard for them. He 
huge. Oh, instant EMP. Okay, we're gonna slug this guy too, of course. There we go. Made for this for sure. Look at that. Okay, so I think that's Meg and this should be Ada. She doesn't even have made for this honor. Or I mean, uh, force hesitation. That's crazy. I thought for sure we were close enough there. Wow, wow, wow. Should be running around this way. Damn. There we go. Yeah, this one is for sure gen hungry. So, the, uh, we're gonna be down in her too, that'd be amazing. There we go. Uh, let's take a peek over here. Assuming they got EMPs all over the place here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they do. For sure. And they're all grouped up on one gen, which is really good. Because if we can get there... Now, they're probably gonna pop this gen. But we have force hesitation. If they're staying anywhere near each other, it's a wrap. You know what I mean? We have good info near the main building, too. This is always a good thing. There we go. We got him right over there. Let's see what we got on this side. Anything good? Not right there. There we go. Another down. That's three of them. Oh my gosh. Looking like a little bit of a mess for them now, isn't it? EMP there. I see Gabriel picking up Meg right here on the camera. Now, we can't teleport, but do we need to with info like that? I don't really think so. Get the blob on her. Very nice. Yeah, it does make it really tough on them, I think. I think right now they're in kind of a, a place where they gotta be panicking. They can't see exactly where their teammates are or anything uh, either. Just kind of have to guess. Barely do get that. No infectious on the Gabriel, though, which is interesting. Yeah, it does hide the auras of them while they're slugged, so this Gabriel, oh, there he is, uh, has pretty much no idea where his teammates were, and that's everybody down. Everybody's down. It has taken, you know, this is technically like our first hook of the game. It is, but um, I mean, when you got this much pressure going on, look at them. They're blobbed up. I don't think a single one of them had an EMP in their hand right here. Uh, that's a lot of pressure. A lot, a lot of pressure. Especially for no slowdown or anything like that. Now, you know, he'll go pick up his teammate here. He got lucky with a little Kobe. But, if we can get out of range here, I should be able to TP right onto that uh, Ada. Ooh, unlucky. It was him. Let's see if we can get this here. There we go. TP on the Ada there. If she does go to pick up the Meg, you know, we down Ada. That's 20% slow. Okay, I wasn't sure who was there. Uh, looks like, okay, both of them in this little area. Let me check on this camera if we can see anything. Oh, there's our Meg. Teleport right to her. Look at that. I mean, look how we can just keep the pressure rolling. Just keeping it rolling. This is a lot of servers who know what you kind of do. There we go. More infectious. Should be able to shoot either one of them we see. Not quite in range there. Man. Uh-oh, Ada. She's going to be giving us a big slow on Gabriel, I think. Maybe not quite. Oh, I wasn't sure which one it was. My bad. I feel like they're definitely in kind of a state of panic right now. Oh, not quite a teleport, but we do know exactly where she is. The gun does have a little bit shorter range than I'd like. There we go. Look at that. Spread that. That's a 20% slow on Meg. She is not going anywhere. She's not making any distance. Look at that. That is just sad. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh no. That's horrible. <laughs> Oops. Wrong one. There we go. We got him tagged up. And another down. Very nice. Uh, there's our Gabriel. We just teleport to him. Look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice. Looks like he's not wiggling. I think he might have gave up a little bit. And I can't say I totally blame him. Pick him up. Alright, let's down him right away. Get that slow on Ada. Hopefully she's in range. That'll make stuff really, really easy on us. Oh uh, no, she definitely wasn't slow. She got pretty huge distance there. And I would definitely say that was a pretty great game. I mean, this... 
build is solid. It just it lets you just keep the pressure rolling pretty much the whole time. Looks like Ada kind of walk in there, thinks they're gonna see her or something. See if we can get that little slipstream going. Yeah, they don't even have EMPs. A lot of the time, if I'm uh, using the cameras as much as I did in these games, uh, I'll be seeing these people have constant, you know, four EMPs if you're trying to use the cameras as much. But when it's with slugs and people scrambling to pick up their teammates and do gens at the same time, it seems like it's really, really hard to do that. I would definitely not say this is the most nice way to play <laughs> ever. Uh, I'm sure they didn't have the best time. But it is very strong, and I did want to share this with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, that is going to do it for this one, guys. If you did like the video, please make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. And uh, as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.